He does not like the corner. Drilled him with that right hand. Wow. What up, everybody? Everybody. What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you guys for coming back. Uh, it is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Got another fight coming in for you. This is actually fighting the same guy, but it's a rematch, right? Um, ended up winning the last one by TKO. So this one, I think, well, we'll just let you guys see it. But I appreciate you guys watching the last one. It was amazing. The comments were awesome. I love the comments. Uh, so yeah, this is a rematch, I think, a year later. Um, I remember coming into this fight, the last fight, really light. I came in this fight much bigger. I think I was heavier than him uh, for this fight. So um, um, yeah, let's get at it. All right, round number one, Bill Jardine versus Steven, the Wonder Boy Thompson. I'm in blue, Bill Jardine is in red, and I slipped. That's why in kickboxing, the canvases, I hated fighting on the canvas. They were super slick, man. But yeah, I do look a lot bigger than I did last time. Moving from side to side, ooh, in and out like a little mongoose. Look at this guy. And the Vaseline. I remember they, they would Vaseline you up when you were out there. I look super shiny like they lathered me up in baby oil or something. <laughs> so, oh, and the referees in kickboxing and in MMA, a little bit different. Referees were a little bit more involved in kickboxing. There's a little bit more rules. Oh, I hit him with the right hand there. See, the referee will take you out in kickboxing, too. Look, he's warning, I'm going to kick your butt if you don't stop. <laughs> Dude, I think coming into this fight, the guy wanted to... My cardio was a lot better this fight, for sure. Um, I think he wanted to mug me a little bit more. Like, kind of, you know, oh, I'm just tagging him every time he comes in. Look at that. Got to keep this guy backing up. I telegraphed with my kicks more too in kickboxing back then. Stick in the jab, I like it. Oh, oh, oh. nice combination. I try. I, I remember how I got him to the corner last last fight we had. So I tried to get him there again. He does not like the corner. Drilled him with that right hand. Wow. I didn't think he was going to get back up. What? Oh my goodness, this dude was tough. Jardine's a country boy too. The guy, like, he grew up, you know, tossing hay bales and tackling cows and stuff. Guy's tough and he was strong. I love this. I love this. Super intense, man. Kickboxing, I think, is harder. Yeah, um, because, well, number one, it's harder in the fact, you know, trying to find openings. The legs, you don't have legs as, as an additional target, so you have above the waist, so it is harder to kind of try and find those spots to, to land your punches and your kicks. Oh, nice counter right hand, dude. Oh, oh, I tried a, a different kick there. I definitely throw more kicks, uh, more uh, more variety of kicks now than I did then. Then it was mostly roundhouse kicks and round, round kicks. Pop, pop. Stop holding me. Oh, yeah, you can't hold in kickboxing. Man, I'm countering that with a jab. Countering his right hand. Oh, oh. Oh, dude, first takedown, guys, right there. That's when I knew I was going to do MMA. <laughs> uh, you don't see that from me hardly anymore, though. Golly, how many rounds did this go? I think it was five rounds again. Amateur world title, or amateur title. Five rounds. Get up, man, let's go. Actually, after this, me and, me and Bill Journey actually became good buds. He actually trained with us for a while. Oh, yeah, he's just, he's hugging the whole time. Every time I blitz in, he's just lowering his weight. Which, to be honest with you, I would do that when I first started training with George St. Pierre. I would blitz just like that. And all he would do was change his level, 
boom, and take me down. So I had to modify my stand-up a little bit. See like that right there? How easy would that for now if I fought Johnny Hendricks or Jake Ellenberg or even Tyron fighting like that? I'll get taken down like every round. Probably stay down on the ground. See how my feet are up underneath me more here? Now I think I keep a wider stance too, I think because of the takedown. Oh man, this is round three. Wow. It's not like it's not like MMA, man. Boom. Oh, nice jab. Here we go. Throwing those kicks. Oh, there's a side kick. Oh, keep going, keep going. See? See, that's it. Well, every time I would blitz, I would blitz up instead of blitzing straight in. Which in MMA, I can't do that because the guys will just take me down left and right. And sometimes I still have to catch myself. You know, I'm, I may feel myself blitzing in one time going up a little high. I'm like, no, I gotta, I gotta stay low, gotta stay low. Makes the harder, makes the takedown harder to get. And even then, I don't blitz. Now, I blitz straight in. Then, now I kind of blitz and angle off. Now I blitz and angle off. Goodness. Guys just want to hold on. Let me go. Oh. Oh. Dude, I'm just trying to rip his head off with that roundhouse kick. Come on. Oh, he's looking for the, he's looking for the double, guys. Say the same MMA. What you doing, Bill? Oh man, round four, here we go. I love the quality of the video that we have going here. <laughs> the video is like what, probably early 2000s, it's terrible. Sorry about that guys, you're old, this is old footage. Yeah, I got footage even older than this. I'm gonna be showing you guys. Ooh, side kick. I didn't throw any side kicks uh, my la last time I fought him. And you had to be aware of that. You get a foot stuck in the rope, you had to stop. That's why I, that's why I find it weird fighting MMA in a kickboxing ring. I think it's I think that would be weird getting caught. It'd be harder to take somebody down, controlling them up against the ropes instead of a cage. Oh, they're taking a point because he's holding. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. You see me shaking my head? I'm like, sorry, man. It wasn't even my fault. I wasn't even holding. It was him. Oh, just sticking that jab. I think we got one more round after this. Oh, trying to land that roundhouse kick. Let's go. Oh, he's trying to get me in the corner. Oh, man, he's tagging me there. Come on. Oh, that was even on the shoulder. I think I kicked harder then, too. I kicked so much harder. And I think I kicked harder then because my shins weren't conditioned, but I had shin pads and boots on. So you weren't, you didn't have to worry about like injuring your shin or your foot. Oh, what pop? Oh, in and out, pop, pop. Look at that, in and out, pop, pop. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. I was relentless then, man. Look at that. I'm just like, just throwing. Round five. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I don't remember. I think it goes all five. I think, it, I think this is the last round, but I think it, I don't knock him out. All right, man. Hands up. Get them. Uh, I keep my hands up more there too. Now my hands are definitely lower now, for sure. 
Oh. You know what we got to show? Some World Combat League footage, too. We got to find some of that for you guys. There's some UFC guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just on it, on it. In and out like a mongoose. Let's go. Oh, I do both sides, man. I work both sides. IKF. Kickboxing. Oh. See, then I didn't care if they blocked it. I threw it as hard as I could anyway. I've actually heard guys even blocking it. Trying to get to the body a little bit. I was definitely uh, sloppier then. Much sloppier. Get the movie contracts out. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Look at that in and out, man. That head movement was on point. Oh, he sidekicked me. Switching sides on him, trying to mix it up. Let's go. Come on. Get it. Oh, a head kick. But, oh. So I think I won that fight. You, it was a unanimous decision. Uh, outpointed him, outstruck him. The guy was tough for sure. That was the second fight that I fought. Second time I fought Bill Jardine. I come back bigger, come back in better shape. Uh, even through a little bit more variety of kicks in, so I was still improving. You can still still see from that my last fight to this one that I was developing different skills. I threw more side kicks as well. I didn't have to worry about the takedown. So my blitzes and stuff, I was coming up uh, and when I made that transition from kickboxing to MMA, I was still doing the same thing. So so the wrestlers like Rashad and George St. Pierre, Nate Marquardt, guys that I was training with, kind of helped me see that I had to modify my striking a little bit, my movement, my even my stance I had to modify. Now I'll keep my hands a little lower to defend the takedown. I keep a wider stance. Now when I blitz, I blitz and I angle off, which helps in MMA as well. But... It's really cool. I find it fun to going back and watching some of these old fights and seeing my progression as as uh, till now. Anyway, a lot of fun, guys. Appreciate you hanging out. Catch y'all later.